Monday Matt, two streams in a row where I'm talking about Monday Matt. Surely the 10th anniversary of Gamergate has come and gone, and we are now in the second decade of Gamergate uh, because we're still talking about Monday Matt somehow. And the reason why is because Monday Matt still attempts, for whatever fucking reason, to operate a video review channel called Three Buck Theater. Our boy, Matt Jarbo, really and truly believes that he is just one, one viral hit video away from being the next Red Letter Media or some shit. Um, but he made a video, or a tweet even, just saying, uh, Midlife Crisis, Jeremy Johns is not the villain origin story I was expecting. So, uh, Jeremy Johns is just a movie reviewer, and he did a video doing a review of Matt Walsh's Am I Racist? Matt Walsh's movies are like conservative, reactionary versions of, um, oh god, the guy that did Borat, he has a, th- a three, he has like a full, like a three na- word name that you have to say all three words for, and I forget what it is. But, he put out the video and Jeremy Johns reviewed it, and that offended Matt Jarbo. Matt Jarbo, Sasha Baron Cohen, that's it. Uh, Matt Jarbo did not give successful reviewer Jeremy Johns uh, permission to review the movie Am I Racist? So, obviously, he's going to be offended that he went ahead and reviewed it anyways without permission. However, uh, Matt Walsh actually saw this tweet, I don't even know how, uh, and replied to it. He says, Yes, a film critic is having a midlife crisis and becoming a villain because he reviewed a top five box office film. So Matt Jarbo was actually upset that anybody reviewed a movie that was in theaters because it was by Matt Walsh. And I suppose he subscribes to the belief that if we simply ignore things that we don't like, they will go away, uh, even when they're cultural sensations. Um, Then Jarbo, of course, replied to this and says, uh, oh, he just took a picture of Matt Jarbo's uh, display picture and says, only movies I agree with are allowed to exist. And then there's a picture of him, which is just sad. Every picture of Matt Jarbo looks fucking sad. And then uh, Jarbo replies, this you, and I suppose that's supposed to be Matt Walsh, uh, doesn't really look anything like him. I don't know what the, like, I don't associate that hairstyle with him. And he says, you're literally crying because someone reviewed a movie. Now, obviously, it's... I kind of I, I feel like I feel like playing MC Jarbo. We need to I need to wish MC Jarbo back into existence. Surely he can come back and make videos about um Bossman Jack or something here. Let's uh Is there like a short one that we can listen to? Like one that's just like a minute or so long. I played the did I play the Polly the Polar Bear one? Oh, I played that on the, the Gumroad video. Here, hold up. Let me look. Maybe this is a nice short one. Is Matt Jarbo is infinite, is only... <laughs> like, I've listened to the... <laughs> all the MC Jarbo stuff so many times that I just associate him with, <laughs> with MC Jarbo. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay, here. This is one of his early ones when he just, like, remixed Matt Jarbo into, like, saying dumb shit. Let's listen to this. Hopefully this is funny. I just picked one at random that was short. A mentally retarded person, maybe of any age. An infant? A young child? A teenager? Or a young adult? <laughs> With the flag apocalypse still looming over many channels. <laughs> if you want to support this one, I'm very much hoping that you're doing to make payment for a million and a half dollars. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jarbo, but this is the Mentally Challenge channel. And uh, first things first, uh, there were some accusations made against me last night in regards to some persons having their accounts taken down. Who do you believe? You fucking know it. One of the weirdest things that comes out of this entire false flagging situation is when things start to get flipped on their head, right? We've already, we've been seeing this kind of unfold in real time over the course of the past couple of weeks. 
my views have been dropping like gigantic fucking boulders. I can cover my stories, I can hang out with my kid, collecting rocks, I can have good times, but no, it's just, it's 100% bullshit. Uh, I feel like everyone's at my throat for every little thing, it doesn't matter what it is, any kind of perceived transgression, people come out of the woodworks to attack you, why? Don't be hypocrite. <laughs> if you are one, like me, and mistakes happen, do what you can to cover her ass. Uh, if you've made it this far, in the comment section, uh, <laughs> uh, type in uh, hypocrisy if you've made it that far to the end. It's really uh, shocking, like how much better he got at mixing the the words and stuff. Because, like, when you listen to the the full, like, the um, mentally ill. I don't think I've ever listened to this one. What the fuck? This is this is like a. This was like way after he did the, the, the tapes. I've never seen this one. Yeah, this ain't a this is nothing meant to be vicious. Oh, it's one of his songs. That's actually MC Jarbo singing. Paper, scissors, where we speak. No, I want to play, sorry, I want to play the ones where he's actually like, um. Dude, this one is. I think that MC Jarbo is actually black and he's really obsessed with BBC. <laughs> My threshold for certain things is a lot, well, higher than, than maybe some other people out there. This one's like okay. nauseating. I have reasons for that. And to understand why I am the way that I am and why I like what I like, you have to know me as a person. And I'm breaking down for you. Right now, crap. Yeah, this is a good one though. This is unfortunately very catchy. There's about a hundred folks and one fat showed with a dumbass show, but they ain't here to see Matt no more. <laughs> one of them squeezing my girl's left titty titty. One of them's traveling to G's box city. One of them's got his hands way up in her shitty shitty. One of them's sticking 25 inch in me. Do I care? No, I'm a degenerate cuck. Look at these black gentlemen ramming their black genitals in my butt. I still got medical problems from when Medicare dropped the ballot of the hut, nigger. What am I just supposed to sit here and watch the damn Sasquatch put his fat lips to her crotch? Oh, you fucking black bastard, bastard. He's having a munch. She's a bastard, bastard. But if that's what. It's just. <laughs> it's so fucking gross and it gets grosser and grosser, but it's so catchy. It's really, it's really, really unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, I miss some bros. I miss these things. He made an entire fucking album, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Ah, reminiscing about the good old days, yeah, when the sector was the sector, not just the boss man Jack and Nick Riccata going to jail sector. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!